I love my wife, Leslie, and I now and forever to continue to mourn her every day. Though I've been tried and wrongfully convicted, my family and I are now suffering the pain and anguish of an innocent man condemned to prison. More so, I suffer the pain and anguish of a father and a grandfather ripped away from his children and grandchildren. <clears throat> Over the many years of being an obstetrician, I have helped bring over 10,000 lives into this world, and I'm proud of that. This very special calling that allowed me to hold those lives of newborn babies in my hands, above all, has given me a profound appreciation of the sanctity of life. My head is unbowed by the verdict of this court for an innocent man has been wrongfully convicted. I would not or could not say this if it were not so. As I one day will be in front of God to be judged, having received the countless blessings of a wonderful, loving family and the privilege of bringing so many lives in my life's work bring so many souls and lives into this world. I would not, it did not take a life. As I look above the judge here, I would like uh, District Attorney Fitzpatrick and the judge to look above as it says, in God we trust. We will all someday be in front of the true judge, God himself, and he will make judgments on all of us. I love my wife, Leslie, very much, and I mourn her every day. <clears throat>